Hello there YouTube, my name is Liam, or LC Champs, and uh, today I am going to start a new series. Uh, this is going to be on Kodu Game Lab. It's basically just a game design slash game development tutorial series. Um, my one that I currently have with uh, Game Maker 8. Should I? I don't think I'm going to be continuing that much um, because of because I'm starting this. Okay, um, now don't be expecting anything too major. I am actually I'm new to this myself, so uh, we're gonna kind of go through it together and yeah, let's do this. But first, um, I think we should take a look at some stuff okay uh Kodu game lab has it's basically a game development and game design software it uh well basically it's free of charge that means like i've said before you don't have to pay for it at all and um it's got good graphics in my opinion it's got good graphics anyway um, so yeah, let's get back to the software. Okay, now, I am going to, well, when you first go on, well, download it, you get a lot of uh, sample worlds. Uh, you can download worlds, you can actually make your own worlds. Uh, make your own, oh no, sorry, uh, these are lessons, and these are samples. Now, um, if you don't really want to download this on your PC, not to worry. I'm a PS3 player myself, but as you can see here, X and Y, you can actually download this on your Xbox 360. I am not, I'm not sure if it charges money or not. I doubt, well, Microsoft points, I doubt it would, because it's free on PC. It should be free on Xbox too. Uh, if you have, yeah. If you are doing it on PC, you can always uh, connect your Xbox controller and play from there. Also, when coding your character to move and do other actions, you can make him respond to Xbox ones and you can actually make your own Xbox games with this. So I'm going to jump into the first tutorial, just give it a double click. Okay, welcome to the first the uh, Kodu Game Lab tutorial. During this tutorial, you will see a bar at the top of your screen with instructions for you to follow. These instructions will guide you through the actions needed to complete the tutorial. Continue. This tutorial will teach you how to add a Kodu, which is the character, to your world. Program the Kodu to respond to your controls. First, let's start by adding the code to the world. Okay, now I've done this before a few times. What you have to do? By the way, I've only been using the software, the software for one day, so yeah. Okay, hit escape and go over to the little code head and go on object tool. Okay, now you have that selected. Click anywhere on your grounds to place the object. Okay, now you sh you'll see this menu. Okay, so uh, go ahead. You just get some uh, starting uh, object. You can click this and get a wider option. Click this, wider option. Oh god. Click this and once again get a wider mm. option. But we're just gonna add a code. Great, okay, now we can play the game and see what happens. Okay, so now select this to play the game. Hmm, not happening. To make something happen, we need to program code. 
Okay, let's go back to edit mode. Let's give Kodu some programming. Okay. Programs for the Kodu game mod characters are created as a sequence of numbered rows. Each row has a when part and a do part. When the when side is true, then the action on the do side is done. For example, when Kodu sees an apple, he moves to it. In this case, when the character... Oh, I've just explained that. For now, let's program Kodu to move on the your control. Okay. So hit escape to go to edit mode. And click the object. Now right click on the character itself in game. And go to program. On the first row click the plus sign and yeah. Okay, so plus keyboard. Arrow keys. Okay. Now click on the plus sign to do to the right of the do and add move. Hey, you're done. Now that you've programmed code, it's time to run the game and see your work in action. Continue. Okay, now let's run our game. And our game so far is just basically our character moving about. You can adjust the speed for him. Okay, congratulations. In this tutorial, you've learned how to add a Kodu to your world and then program the Kodu to move under your control. You can use the same idea to add and program all the characters now. Have fun. Okay, so uh, I guess that's this tutorial over and done with. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to give the video a like itself and be sure to subscribe for more videos and to be posted when I upload a new Kodu Game Lab video. Okay, I have been LT Champs, thank you for watching, goodbye.